How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and EA actually dropped some really good content today on uh, Monday, January 6th. Here we go. Let's scroll over to it. Here's some of the prime times. Uh, we got Lars Eller, 83 overall, Myers, Mike Smith, Craig Smith. Wow, yeah, both Smiths. Henrik, of course, Evander Kane, Ranton, an 88 overall. Keep that in mind now, guys. Ranton will be a 90 in February and then 92 in March, potentially. Because, uh, of course, and he's missed a lot of time, so his prime time is only going to be 88 overall. Sam Reinhardt, 88 overall. I didn't expect to see that. Reinhardt's having a great year, that must mean. Uh, 88 Clayton Keller, 88 Cam Fowler, 88 Getzlaff, and 90 overall Steven Stamkos, guys. And then here we go as well, the World Junior Cars. These are really, really awesome cars, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, <clears throat> you have the Finnish, Swedish, uh, Russia, and Canadian cards. Very, very good stuff from EA. I like these a lot. Because, uh, I mean, it makes sense. Just kind of wrap it up and give some more, uh, you know, overalls. The problem is, though, now, let me know if you guys agree with me. I think that gold icons should be out now. Because Lemieux and Gretzky are not even close to being the best cards in the game anymore. They're just not even close. They were for the first, I'd say, three months. But now it's just like Gretzky and Lemieux, they don't really have that much value anymore, in my opinion. Like, they're great. They're still really good cards. Don't get me wrong. But... The uh, Alexis Lafreniere is better than Gretzky. Like, I would rather have him than Gretzky, like 100%. And uh, that doesn't really make sense. I mean, I don't think a 17-year-old should be better than, you know, the greatest player of all time, in my opinion. But I don't know. Call me crazy for sure. Um, so that's that. Uh, I got some more prime thumbs over here. Nothing crazy there. Uh, then you have this big boy pack. EA has dropped it, of course. They love dropping this big pack. Here it is. Uh, guys, I opened one of them. Of course, you can only open one for 24 hours. I opened it today, and I want you guys to uh, see what I got. Exactly why I just do not like uh, opening packs. I spent $22 of my money right there, and I'm not too happy about it, that's for sure. That's a large chunk of money just to throw uh, right there, and I, I'm, again, I'm not happy about it, that's for sure. I'm, I'm simply not happy with it, uh, but we're going to go to this browse auctions. I've had a guy asking every single video, best lefties. Uh, he, he really wants me to upload that, so I'm doing it right now for you. Uh, so we're going to go... Uh, lefties right now, we're gonna go price range, I don't know, 50k to like, I don't know, 300k, I mean, he didn't really say like, amount wise, so I'm gonna just kinda go with like that, and this, this should be a, a pretty large, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty large, large amount of players here, so, I'm gonna try to quickly try to go through this and, uh, help you guys out, alright? 89 Duchesne is a fantastic card, 140k, 99 speed, 92 face-offs, really, really good shot as well. Uh, this is a fantastic card. His synergy being 2k2 is really, really nice as well, uh, but this card is very good. I will say that. It's a very, very good card. Um, I'm a fan, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely really good stuff. Uh, this card is fantastic. Uh, then we look after that. Um, What else? 88 Mantha is a fantastic card as well. Uh, 70k, you can even get cheaper than that. TK2, great synergy again. 93 speed, 65, 225. Wrist shot accuracy of 87. Very, very good card. I definitely recommend this Mantha to you guys 100%. Fantastic card. Uh, let's go to some other ones now. Coffee's fantastic as well, uh, but he's more expensive. A D Man. He's got SP2, great card, 90 speed, great shot. 
Uh, but yeah, I really do like this card. Coffee's a fantastic defenseman. I'm trying to go through forwards and defense for you guys. I know, again, people get mad when I do this this way, but I think it's a good way to do this. I don't know. I like to, uh, to go through this. Um, actually, uh, one more thing I want to say to you guys before I even show any more lefties. What I recommend to you guys is you should probably... You should probably buy a Team of the Year card, all right? Uh, buy the cheapest one. Maybe it's 150k, 200k. Buy it, guys. Because the trade there's going to be a trade-in. So if you have gold collectibles, no one really knows how it's going to work yet. It's it's worth the risk, in my in my opinion. It's low risk, potentially high uh, reward. Uh, but it, it should be good. So I bought myself uh, a Victor Arvidsson for 190k. And that could actually turn out to be a really, really good investment for me. Again, time will tell, but we will see. Uh, base Crosby is absolutely fantastic. He's not going for 75k. I can definitely guarantee you that. Let me let me see what he's actually going for. Yeah, 20, 25k ish. I mean, he's he's unreal, guys. Crosby's fantastic. Get this card again. This is a very low budget, but my God, I love Crosby so much in this game. 93 faceoffs, 90 speed, good shot. It's too good this card for the amount of uh, coins he goes for. I I promise you guys will not regret having that card. Absolutely. Um. Ty Smith is a pretty good, uh, pretty good option as well, but a little too expensive, I feel like, for him. Um, what else? What else? I don't like Kane this year. I don't, I don't think he's a great card. Who else? Who else? I feel like, for the most part, you want big players. 90 Matthews would be a really, really good option as well. Matthews is really good in-game. I guarantee you that. 96 speed. Good shot as well. I'm a big, big fan of Matthews. Uh... After that, I mean, Riley's a pretty good D-man for sure. I like I like Morgan Riley, 90 overall. Got a good shot. We got Bishop. Goalies I don't really love. Couturier's fantastic as well. Any Couturier for this range is really, really good. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't think Morenz is that good. But people say he's unreal, so I don't know. I mean, it's all, you know, your opinion, of course. But, again, I'm just trying to spit you guys out with some... Uh, some, some potential good cards here. McDavid's fantastic. 91, 91 overall for that. It's actually a really good uh, deal in my opinion. But yeah, that's a, that's a good card for sure. Any McDavid card is pretty good though, to be honest. Base McDavid could be fantastic. I mean, it's it's pretty uh, cut and dry. That everyone kind of knows that, right? Uh, Pedersen's good. That's a very expensive card though. What else? What else? What else? Again, try not to... Hovenden is very good. A6 overall is only 6-7. I'm considering buying Hovenden as well, to be honest. I mean, his synergies aren't great, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's a good card for sure. Oh, uh, Messier. Yeah, besides that, really... Not many other cards I really recommend to you guys, per se, that are lefty for this range. I mean, there's there's options. Now you see Matthews, you really want to go <laughs> to the 300k mark, but... Overall, that's, that's pretty much... The better card in the game, I'd say. Like, for this range, lefties, of course, I'm talking only. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, I'm going to show you guys some quick gameplay clips. Not many, but here's some, of course. There you go, guys. Hopefully, you did enjoy those gameplay clips, and hopefully, you enjoyed this video. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, or comment down below what you enjoyed about the video and any, any other questions you have for me. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, 14 Henrik TV, and join the Discord to talk to me, followers, and subscribers of the channel. You won't regret it, and uh, I will see you all in the next video.